All right, guys, welcome back to the B-Board channel, and in today's video, we're going to be doing some more Tesla coil stuff. All right, so here's the coil with the 60-watt ballast, and everything else remains the same in the coil. Let's see how it works. Okay, so this ballast literally sucks. Look at the puny output on this. All right, let's hope this light bulb ballast works better than the first one. Same setup as before. So it still transfers power wirelessly. Alright, now if we open the test, will it shock my finger? See his arcs going my finger. Ooh, ow. Alright, let's see what it does with this uh tube bolt here. Hey, wireless power. Let's go. Even get some little arc towards it. So the first experiment I used a 60 watt ballast, just a household light bulb. And next I used a light bulb of a little higher wattage. And now I'm going to add in this microwave oven transformer, which usually draws about 2,000 watts. All right, so now I have this ballast wired up. Let's see how this works. All right, here we go. Whoa, that's insane. A lot bigger arcs. Thanks guys for watching. I was going to upload a quick video for you guys on how ballasting works in a Tesla coil. And I'll catch you in the next boring video.